Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for heading over and joining me. I have here a couple of projects that I want to share with you as part of uh, a guest design team member for Erica. And she is Scrap Diva Designs. She is also Scrap Diva 29 here on YouTube as well as uh, Instagram. I'll also put down below Erica's uh, online store where you can purchase um, all of her gorgeous dyes including the two that I'm going to show you uh, in this video. Uh, I also done a video uh, where I had shared with you a whole range of dyes that she has sent to me uh, and they are uh, Valentine's themed dyes as well as um, some of the essential dyes as well and I'll put that video down below uh, if you're interested in having a look at those dyes. I have also got a 10% discount coupon code for you if you are wanting to purchase some of these dyes uh, through Erica's uh, online store as well um, but these are the two dyes that I'm going to share with you and I'm going to also show you or a uh, how a how to video um on how to make a shaker with one of the dies that um in one of the kits here uh, but this one here is the first die that she has uh, available now and this one is called heart uh, this one is called the sequent gift envelope and it's a really great uh pocket envelope and it's a perfect size for a gift card and then there is also um, a smaller size here at the back where you could also make a smaller little um envelope with a, a shake part here in the middle here and there are also some layering pieces so this is um, a great size and then there are also two uh, uh, there was a word sentiment within two sizes uh, this one is the larger size and it says uh, shake it and then at the back here there is uh, the other one down here as well and that's a smaller size and I've made one already just so you could see what it looks like. So I did make the larger size, which is this one. And look how cute this is. And that's the word shake it. And then this is the layering piece. And then when you run this through your machine, um, a heart will pop out and it will create this window. So you can create that as a shaker. And then the heart shape, I placed it here on the back on the closure. And then I ran another a piece of uh, another of the die with uh, some foam to uh, use for the back of this part and then it popped out the heart and I raised the heart part here uh, to uh, give it a more dimensional look and this is the layering piece with the closure and then I just added um, a velcro dot to close it and this is the other layering piece and then inside is the gift card that fits perfectly or you can add some flat uh, packaging uh, goodies in here like some sequins or some flat uh, embellishments if you want to give that as a gift or some little jewelry and it just closes like that and it's just really cute and easy to put together so this one is the larger size and then with the word shake it I ran the word shake it through the machine with uh, some scrapbook paper and then I ran some foam as well with the word shaker and then I, I adhered the word on top of the foam to add some dimension and then there was this uh, background layering piece as well and I just ran that through the machine and then stuck it on top so that's how I've got it and it's really really cute so this one is the larger size so that's this one here and then there is that smaller one here at the bottom so it's really really cute and you can put some small little jewelry pieces in there if you wanted to so I'm just going to give you the measurements for the completed um, envelope so uh, in inches it is roughly about two and a half inches by uh, three and a half inches which will fit a gift card perfectly uh, in centimeters it's about six and a half inches or uh, sorry centimeters 6.5 centimeters by nine centimeters so that's this one it's really cute so that's that one done uh, then there was also uh, these valentine's theme clear stamps that are available now also in her store and they do stamp really well so you get quite a few different words and it's a great font um, for the words as well so there's quite a bunch of great stamps that you could have fun with for valentine's and we're not too far away from valentine's day uh, so that's they're the clear stamps 
and this one here is I would have to say one of my favorite dyes that she has and this one is called the heart soap pump shaker and it's just great and I was able to make a whole bunch of different um, projects with this kit so I think this is a great buy and I'm going to show you the projects of what I made with this so you can make you know a few different uh, ways of making some projects not just making the soap pump shaker so I think this is a great buy if you're interested and um, I'll show you um, what I've made and there are two sizes you get the larger size a soap pump shaker and a smaller size and it's shaped like a heart so it's perfect for a Valentine's theme uh, project so I'm going to show you uh, what I've made with these and I'm also going to make a shaker with one of the um, elements on here as well and I think the best way uh, to work out what is what if you're new to making shakers or with all of these extra um, layering uh, pieces is to run each of the pieces through your machine with just some plain cardstock and then you can then layer them out and then this you can see what is what and what will layer with what and what goes where and what's going to come pop out of the uh, dies well if you're new to um, these sort of dies but just let me show you what I've made and I'll show you how to put a shaker together so let me just bring I'll just move this over here I had so much fun with these and it, it was just easy to put these together so these um, embellishments and shakers that I've used are made I used the it's an older collection uh, it's by echo park and it's the cupid and co uh, valentine's theme collection double-sided 12 by 12 paper i don't actually have a lot of um i don't have a lot of valentine's theme um, papers to work with at the moment so i'm hoping to purchase some of in the new year but i did have these left so i did use these ones in case you wanted to know what, what i used uh, so let's start with so this one here let me just show you these are swing tags and i just love these i've not seen anything like this before and i love this sort of um heart-shaped swing tag it's just so so cute so let me start and i'll show you the perfume shaker bottle first and this is the the larger size that i'm going to show you so this is the larger size isn't this just so pretty i love this it turned out really nice. I was so happy with how it turned out. So this is that swing heart-shaped tag that I just mentioned. Isn't this just really, really cute? I just love this. So that is the larger size uh, heart-shaped swing tag. And then you get a couple of heart shapes in here, which is just your standard hearts when you run it through. You get the larger size and the smaller size. And they're just uh, your standard heart shape. And it, it is stitched around the edge. As you can see, it's all got stitching. So I did layer one of the hearts on top and then I added one of the little images from the 12 by 12 paper and fussy cut that out. So that turned out perfect. And then this is the heart shape uh, soap pump shaker. So cute. Use all of the um, papers from the collection. This is uh, some black glitter cardstock. Then I just added some sequins. I placed a typewriter in the background there. There's some little strawberry and a word. I'm oh, sorry, a little flower piece. So, so cute. So that and that was just perfect to hang together. And then you can write a little message on the back. I just love this. It turned out so pretty. So that's that one. And then the smaller perfume bottle. I didn't make it into a shaker. I just made it as an embellishment so this is a smaller one and this is a smaller size a heart shape um, swing tag I love this I really love it and so this is the uh, smaller size let me just take the swing swing that around so you can see so that's a smaller size uh, soap pump so I made this into just an embellishment. So you can see you can do so much with this die set. You can have so much fun. And then this was also one of the 
stamps from the clear stamp set and let me see which one that was it was this one here so that's that one I just placed that on the front and use all the images from the 12 by 12 so that's that one and I just done the same and added a uh, a silver cardstock heart in the front of that one and this one was a pink one just love the color coordination of those and then there were like uh, when you run it through you're going to get some of the shapes pop out of your um, pieces and these were the ones that popped out of the pieces or you can call them the negative part I guess and so let me see so this is from the um, larger perfume bottle which was this one so when you run your perfume bottle through your uh, cutting machine let me just get it out so when you run this through you're going to get a frame shape cut out and then you're going to get another piece pop out which is this black piece so that is what it will look like so that's going to pop out and i didn't want to waste it so i embellished it with a smaller piece that was from another uh, piece which I haven't got so that piece um, was from an another one that I was trying out so I just popped that on the top added some foam dots to raise the cute little truck so that was that one and all of these were also just the negative part of the perfume bottle and the or well, the frame part so for example i ran this piece through the machine and this one is sorry let me jump a bit fumbling here because they're all over this other place because at the back you get all these other pieces so let me just bring this one out so there was a smaller piece there was you get two sizes on this just bring this one so there are two sizes this is a smaller piece so when you run this through the machine you're going to then it'll end up cutting out this part which is like the frame and then there was this middle part that will pop out which was uh, this piece here so I'm going to put that there so you can see so you can see that is what the shape is when you run it through this will pop out and then you're going to get that frame piece and then I just use that as an embellishment and ran uh, a heart shape which was a smaller heart which is this one here and just place that on the top with some foam dot and um, create another embellishment and then this is another one and this one is from just got to try and find all the bits and pieces that I have here which oh this one here is from another piece which I'm going to um, show you in here so that's from this piece here it's another embellishment as well as this one here so just cute and then I will do um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with these embellishments. I'm going to create like a little mini album and just stack them all together and maybe have this one at the back or in the front so I'm going to maybe make a mini album I'm not too sure yet but they're the uh, little projects that I made so let me just ex well, explain. I'll try to show you what they look like. Um, so I did run uh, the larger perfume bottle. So the smaller size is exactly the same as the larger size. So when you run your perfume bottle, I keep saying perfume bottle, it's just soap pump bottle. Soap pump, I don't know why I keep saying a uh, perfume bottle. Uh, so when you run your um, dye through, it's going to... Let me just get those together. This is what it will look like. So you're going to run this through and it's going to run this piece out and then that will come out. So then you'll have those two pieces for that one. And then you're going to want to cut this piece if you want to. And when you cut this piece out, it's going to create. Let me just bring it together. It's going to cut it like that can see here that these are the two cutting edges and there's your stitch part so it's going to cut out that and then that will pop out 
which will give you that piece. And then you want to cut this out if you wanted to. But when you run this through the machine, which I have cut it with this size, so I'll just bring it out. Let's just say it's because um, I've already I've already um, made a project with it. So when you run this through the machine, it's going to look the same as that. So they're just some of the pieces what it would look like. But for your large one, you get that and that. And then there's also this piece, which is this one. That's for the larger piece. So there your, uh, I guess these are your set for the larger perfume bottles. And then if you want to make it into a shaker like this, you will grab this part. And you will grab the large piece and that will be the backing part. And then you will then... Um, cut another piece of this one with some foam and also uh, this one as well for your clear piece to create the window but I'm going to show you anyway don't want to make it confusing for you but this is um, what they look like for the larger one and the smaller one is the same and then that is your swing tag so let's go ahead I'm going to do the a shaker because I've got one more that I want to make so I'm going to put these to the side. So I have a few pieces here. So I have cut out these two pieces. That was from this one here with the two solid edges that will cut cut out the shape and then the stitched edge. And when it cuts cut it out, it will cut out the frame. And then it will also cut out this little piece out, which I already made it into a embellishment so it's this piece here so i ran that through and then it popped that one out made that into an embellishment and i just needed that piece and then i ran some foam as well so i can get the frame i didn't need the negative part so that's going to get glued onto here like that and then i ran a, some acetate and some background paper so I'm going to cut one of each so you want to cut two pieces one with acetate for your shaker and then uh, a solid piece and that will be this this one here which was which has just a single stitching and a single cutting solid edge and you're going to see that these you can see the difference so you need these two pieces if to make the shaker whether it's the larger size or the small size so let's put one together quickly and then you just need a, a sequence mix and then we can get this on so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to get some glue and put it on the frame part and grab the acetate and then I'm going to glue that at the back. So this will create the window. So now it's like a window. That will keep the sequence together. And then I'm going to add glue to the foam frame. To make sure my fingers are dry because I don't want the sequins to get stuck all over my fingers. So now I'm going to place the phone to the back and like try to line everything up with the frame, and that will give it some height for the sequins to move around. And making sure it's all nice and sealed because you don't want your sequins to. Um, come out through the sides okay so that's my window done it's a bit of glue there but not to worry and that's your background and that's going to get glued like that once your uh, sequence uh, is placed inside so now I'm going to add some sequence actually before I do that I want to add this little piece this little flower image just to decorate it a little bit
So I'm just going to place it there just to decorate the background a bit more. That's going to go there. So here's my little sequence mix. Just trying to keep it all in the middle without it going everywhere. And then I just see if I need any more. That's enough. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue this down. So I'm going to glue the My glue is a little bit tacky. This is my old bottle. Should have used my fresh one, but that's okay. At least you get the idea of how to put a shaker together if you've not made one before. Now this part here is where I need a bit of patience. Once I put this down, I need to at least let it set for a minute or two. So I'm gonna drop it down. I can seal that all off now. I just want to leave it for a few seconds because I get impatient. I want to sh start shaking it and have fun. And when you shake it, sometimes your sequins get stuck around the edge because the glue is still a little bit wet and then you can't get in there to move it. So I'm going to just try and leave that. And in the meantime, I want to add that to the front like that, just to add a little bit of dimension. So that's pretty much all there is to creating this shaker. Actually, if I can put that there. So let me get this up now. So there is my shaker. How cute is that? Isn't it just cute? I'm going to probably add a couple more little embellishing at the front here to cover some of this glue part. But these are some of the fun projects that you can make. Let me bring them all out with the uh, Heart Soap Pump Shaker. Got that right this time. <laughs> all right, so these are the fun set. I love this set. It is um, definitely a great, great one for you to uh, play around with because you can see you can make a whole bunch of different uh, projects with these other than just a shaker so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I hope it wasn't confusing for you and I'll be back with some more videos bye for now